first shot of the 60s countercultural revolution was fired in Dallas on November the 22nd, 1963. That 60s revolution sparked civil rights, black power, feminism, gay liberation, street protests, political radicalism, and environmentalism. Mainstream media has duped us into believing the revolution fizzled out when the Vietnam War ended. It did not. That same revolution, those same issues are being fought today by descendants of the Woodstock generation. So, John, 50 years on, Woodstock is remembered as an amazing and beautiful accident. What do you think of that? I think the Woodstock Festival was R and R leave from the trenches of countercultural revolution. In the wake of President Kennedy's assassination, the counterculture protest of mainstream American values rapidly escalated. The pushback was relentless and brutal. And the TV was filled with images of long lines of hippies walking past empty cars looking like refugees running away from an ugly, bloated, sick America. Well, the Woodstock numbers mattered then, and they matter now, especially as a counter to the claim, oh man, after Woodstock, the hippie sold out, right? Look, the biggest problem for the Woodstock generation was a lack of reinforcements. even like the media term hippie. They bastardized it from the go get Anyone with long hair into self-indulgence was a hippie. Point in question, Charles Manson, not a hippie. Hells Angels, no. Rock icons, they're musos. Kent State students, the hard hat riots, thugs beating up kids. You got headlines, hippies are a spent force. Hippies are passe. How many way off the grid hippies living in peaceful communes were at Woodstock? We'll never know. But dig this, it was nowhere near half a million.